Hi, this is your host Sapna Bhartia and welcome to another episode of Mainframe Matters. We are here at Open Mainframe Summit in Philadelphia and today we have with us Rick Perret, Head of Analyst Relations at Broadcom Mainframe and a member of Open Mainframe Project Marketing Committee. Rick, it's great to have you on the show. Tell us a bit about yourself and your involvement and engagement with the Open Mainframe project. Absolutely. So as you mentioned, I am uh, Head of Analyst Relations uh, at the Mainframe Software Division here at Broadcom. I actually joined uh, three months before we were acquired by Broadcom. It was CA Technologies, of course, you know, working in the CA Technology Mainframe Division. And the acquisition was really a, a wonderful opportunity for our division to really double down on investments within mainframe. So it's been uh, an excellent experience, you know, for us in the division. You mentioned, uh, you know, what we're doing with the OMP and the open mainframe project. But let me just sort of step back a little bit. When it comes to our interactions with customers, you know, we've been seeing that there's, they're facing constant change. You know, they're trying to drive growth differentiate themselves and and that really is forcing them to be certainly more agile looking at modernization of, of their uh, platforms right and so in order to make that happen really they start thinking about interoperability of their systems their capabilities because the more that they can rewire their processes and the underlying technologies to meet the needs of the market uh, they can react better and that really pretends this notion of open because if things are closed and proprietary, it's hard to do that rewiring. But if, if things are based on a more open model, it's much easier. And that's really been part of Broadcom's Broadcom mainframe strategy uh, from the start. And so we've been focused from a value stream perspective or different value streams, whether it's DevOps, you know, AI ops, security, in a more open model, an open approach. And that's really why we got together with IBM and Rocket at the beginning and helped found this open mainframe project back in a 2015 timeframe. And we've been uh, platinum members since then, since the beginning. Now you talked about our activities and I sort of wanted to step back for a moment, but let me tell you about what we actually do. Obviously as a platinum member of the project, we get involved in things such as the governing board, the TAC or technical advisory committee, as well as the marketing committee for the, for the OMP. And I'm actually a member of the marketing committee and have been for about almost five years now. Certainly projects are what OMP is all about. And probably the most impactful project in OMP is Zoe, Project Zoe, which many of you have probably heard about. And Zoe, as you know, is really a framework to help organizations and their technical teams, regardless of their background, interact and develop on the mainframe just like any other platform. It's game changing and certainly helps as our customers try to drive their modernization strategy. It's very important. And go, if you go to zoe.org, you can learn a lot more about it. And in fact, you can see, good, you know, as far as Broadcom is concerned and our involvement, you know, we've really put a lot of uh, wood behind the arrow, if you, as they say, as it relates to intellectual property contributions. So I think we've made about 30 component contributions to Zoe across the API mediation layer, the command line interface, and the app framework itself. And in addition, there are several work groups where Broadcom has been involved. In the uh, mainframe open education uh, work group, actually that's something we co-lead with IBM. And we've also made contributions to the COBOL, uh, the COBOL working project as well. So we've dedicated lots of people's time and, and efforts uh, over the past you know, four or five years to uh, uh, you know, support this mission. Since you mentioned CA Technologies acquisition by Broadcom, uh, they are set to also acquire uh, VMware. I cover VMware on a regular basis, and there are some uh, concern in some segments uh, around you know the acquisition and what will happen to the open source. Uh, but when we look at you know the stories that you know you just shared, where VM where Broadcom actually not only continued the open source work, but actually increased it. So can you talk a bit about um, the support that is there within Broadcom for open source project and communities? 
Right, so we certainly have within, I mentioned value streams, right? We have something that's called the open mainframe uh, value stream. And that value stream is really cross-cutting uh, cross through all of our different value streams, whether they're, it's app dev and DevOps, whether it's security, whether it's AI ops or IT, you know, ITOM, IT operations management, data management. And you actually, if you go to zoe.org, you can actually see the those IP contributions that we made cross cut, you know, four uh, of those value stream areas. So, but when you talk about like any open source initiative, right, the strength of it is having a project office, let's say, and it really comes from the top down. You really, our SVP and GM, Greg Lotko, you know, he will say, and he's always talked about open and the importance of an open and open first approach since 2018. You know, we've been, we've, we've started talking about open in 2018 and we continue to talk about that. And the culture, as you're saying, is really all about starting from the top down and making it, first of all, a strategic mandate and initiative, as well as having organizationally the people and the resources in place so you can measure it. And again, the Open Mainframe Project really represents the right strategic approach in order to coalesce all parts of the ecosystem together so we can do something impactful in the market. Now let's talk about the biggest uh, news of the day, not only the day, but I would say even the year, uh, because we have been kind of uh, talking about this for a while. So, so tell us, you know, what you folks are announcing here today. So the big news today is that Broadcom has donated a Z15 mainframe system to the Open Mainframe Project. So for the first time, OMP will have an actual dedicated infrastructure to support all its projects. Today, it's a shared infrastructure, and that, as you can imagine, has limitations, if you will. It's we, let I me mean, sort of, it's, it's interesting how, how this sort of all came about. You know, historically, as I've talked about, we've always donated people's time and energy to various projects, to various work groups. Obviously, the development of IP, as I mentioned before, that uh, sits underneath Zoe. But, you know, as a Platinum member, we really need to think about what other things we can do to foster this community. So it's actually now sitting at Marist College. So I would like to thank Marist College, of course, for hosting that. And um, it should be up and running and operational in 2023, available for the, for the projects. I mean, the community has been looking forward to this moment for a very long time, but I want to hear from you, what direct impact will there be on the projects and the open mainframe or mainframe ecosystem and community? Right, and, and, and really this is sort of, as we, and certainly we thought about that as we made the, the donation, of course. One is really having a dedicated resource helps the projects that exist today to really scale and accelerate the hardening of, the, of their IP, you know, of the code. And that's really important because we wanna make sure that that happens as quickly as possible so we can get the innovation out there and it, has, and it can have a greater impact to the community as a whole as well as end users. That's really important. So having that dedicated piece certainly helps in accelerating that. The second thing is just around collaboration and we believe, again, this resource can increase levels of collaboration, not only within a project, but also across the projects within OMP, because there are some 15 or so projects uh, that are either in incubation or active stage uh, as part of OMP. So this, again, more resources enables higher levels of collaboration, and certainly, especially across projects, things become very interesting, because that's where you have some really great innovations happening. This third one is a little more subtle and it's probably the more important one, which is the more people, the more organizations, the more entities that get exposure to using a mainframe, right? And certainly a dedicated resource enables OMP to do that. The more they can really understand how much easier it is to interact with the platform by using the tools that are available through OMP. And that can have, in my, my perspective, 
a tremendous opportunity to really change how people think about the platform. There are inherent biases of what people think uh, of the mainframe. Some people may think it's inflexible, right, or complex. OMP is all about driving simplicity and opening up the platform so it can be more agile. And so it's certainly in a soft way, a softly measurable way, if you will, help break down those biases. If you look at mainframe, it has been around for a very long time. Uh, a lot of you know, experts, you know, maintainers, developers, they want to retire and move on with their lives. But at the same time, we do need to find folks who take the helm from them. Uh, these projects are trying to not only modernize a lot of things within the mainframe ecosystem, but they're also trying to attract new developers towards some of these technologies. So can you talk about, you know, what are the efforts that are going on there? It's all about choice. Well, you know, what you're describing is we don't want to force anyone to go down a specific path. Uh, and there are certainly other things in the Broadcom portfolio that aren't part of OMP, but certainly OMP itself. It's th simple things like a command line interface or the ability to interact through an IDE like VS Code. All th those are choices that end users can make. No one's forcing them to say, do it one way or do it the other way. And freedom of choice is a great thing, certainly, and, and open having an open strategy by design from the start enables that. This is something that I want to talk to you today, and that is also when we look at a mainframe, I cover cloud native technologies a lot. And there, some of these technologies were like, and, uh, you know, they came into existence just a few months, few years ago. A lot of disruption is happening in that space. But sometimes folks make a mistake and try to look at it as mainframe versus the cloud native or cloud world. But the way I see it is that within the cloud world, we talk about multi-cloud, we talk about hybrid cloud, we talk about private clouds running on-prem, and within multi-cloud, we talk about cloud from AWS, Azure, GCP, and then there are alternative cloud providers as well. So we are talking about the same uh, you know, multi-cloud kind of strategy. We are depending on industries or companies folks will continue to leverage mainframe and they will also use cloud native technology. So it's not going to be mainframe versus mainframe or cloud where it will be mainframe and uh, cloud word. What are your thoughts on that? Let me start from this perspective. Nobody, and certainly not Broadcom, is telling any customer that every workload needs to run on a mainframe. It really, what should drive platform decisions is, is the business requirement. What is the business need, number one? That needs to drive the decisions on how to run, run an application or run a workload. And so we see from our enterprise customers that they're running, you know, obviously, multi-cloud hybrid environments. And that's something that's going to be in place for the foreseeable future. You talk to the Gartners, the IDCs, and the Foresters. That's the reality. So in this mixed architectural mode, which is going to be around for a long time, uh, it's important that the mainframe platform be positioned such that it can you can interact with it like any other platform. Therefore, its value can be highly leveraged and realized just like any other platform. Because there's always going to be a new technology coming down the pike, like you said, every six months. But an organization, no organization can turn on a dime every six months. That's, 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 not, you know, that's not reality. Rick, thank you so much for taking time out today. And talk about, of course, you know, this, this contribution of Z15 to the mainframe project. And, um, and we also talked about other relevant topics like you know, modernizing and multi-cloud. Thanks for all those insights, and I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Swapnil, it was great, uh, again, uh, interacting with you. We look forward to seeing you again. Take care.